Good morning guys, welcome to today. Today's video is gonna be a sad one. These things that I keep on telling you guys about, oh my goodness, we are in love with them. Yeah, they are called Express, Express Heat Therapy. You can find that. I looked it up on and found there. Yeah, you can find that on Google. I'm smart. Yeah, these like so once you you push the button and they heat up, and then you boil them to bring them back to this stage. But you can also make them devil horns. Right there. But the thing that I love. Devil horns. Yeah, that's so cool, Gabby. Wow, you are amazing. Yes. Um, so the thing I like though is when you boil them back down, they get really hot, and I like to use them like this. Like without, they stay hot for an, five hours. They stay hot for a long time. No, they stay hot for like an hour. I no, love them. Hours. I need to get a brand deal with these guys because they have really nice ones of these. It's like a hot water like, bottle. Oh my god, they're crap. I should never have bought them. Well, like the guy's trying to get me to buy all these ones. He's like, if you buy this, I'll give you this deal. And I said no. And now I'm like, I should have because I bought 10 of those for $40. And on the website, it's $10 each. All right, so it's almost my birthday, and Sophie's getting ready by making me a cup of tea, the first cup of tea she's ever made. She's also going no, to surprise I made me you a couple tea by brushing her hair. She's also going to surprise me for my birthday by not having a chocolate face on and my birthday. Her my birthday is next Sunday. That's going to be the day, Sophia. Yeah. <laughs> and brushing her hair. You need to brush your hair, okay, lady? Ooh, this is too sweet. But anyways, oh well. Is it okay to be to have a dirty face sometimes? No. Yeah. Not when you're out at the royal. Yeah. Yeah. No. Or at a fancy yeah, because event. then when you get hungry or need a flavor in your mouth. Oh my god. <laughs> if you have a messy face, own it. If you have trouble with your hair, own it because. We all have problems, you guys. We all struggle, every single one of us. Today, I woke up to so much hate on YouTube. Oh, so we were past it, but we're not. So much hate, but this time, I was prepared for it, and I have learned so much. Even though I knew it before, I have learned so much. When people hate, it's all to do with them and where they are in their life. It is not to do with you, so you just gotta move past it. But I always feel the desire to like, help people through it. <laughs> I don't leave that for God. Whoever saw my ghost hunting video, like this video. Also, uh, Gabby wants to do a quick shout out. The girls are obsessed with this girl on oh, Instagram. Yes. Wait, wait. Obsessed, and she has a YouTube channel. We just found it today. So I asked her if we could shout her out. I don't know if she's gonna be happy or upset. She hasn't messaged me back. Hopefully she's gonna be okay with it, because here you go. Because we're doing it. Because we're doing it. Okay. Tell oh, all I about her. Be prepared to be amazed. If you guys are into horses, you're gonna wanna know this channel. The only reason I even know about this girl is because Gabby and Kaylee are obsessed and so Yes, they okay. talk about talk. her all the time. They do. If your ears are burning, then it's because my girl's talking about you. She has an Instagram too. So it's the Instagram that the girls love. What's her Instagram? Katie.Giddings. Oh, it's, it's not focusing. And she has an Instagram, and then she also has her YouTube channel. I have to find so it. you find the YouTube channel and tell them about her. Tell them about Katie Dot Giddings. What what's so special about her? Because listen, I've heard it all. I've heard all the reasons why Gabby knows all her horses' names that they're all for sale. They she knows her boyfriend's name. She follows her boyfriend's Instagram. She follows her Instagram. She like they know it all except for how old she is. Because I asked. They said, oh, she's probably about 14, but she has a boyfriend and she drives a car. So no. I'm thinking not that young. No, so we never said 14. Kaylee said. It's Katie dot getting. <laughs> and. So tell them why you like her. I, Kaylee and Sophie and I love her because of her EQ. It's like the best. Like we want her EQ really bad. Because she can ride, right? Yes. Does she ride in anything big, like any big shows? Oh, heck yeah. She rode in Pony Finals. Oh, heck yes. Pony Finals is like the, the That's her big before. thing. All right, so there you have it. There's her shout out. Katie.Giddings. Gabby's obsessed. 
and absolutely loves her, wants to be her, and yes. she does look young. Me. Anyway, no. yeah, that's it. it so. She's, uh, like 17 maybe? Oh, yeah, she's young. But I anyway. have her in my search. That is it for that shout out. But anyway, if you guys are interested in like a girl that can ride, it is Katie.Gidding. She's amazing. Yes. chores this morning back when he was home for a long time and then he went back to work and I was like oh ready for him to go back to work it's because he was underfoot a little bit like I was so used to doing certain things and then he was there and then hi you're not shaking are you good girl except for the mean hey don't be so mean anyways now that he's back at work, if he ever gets to stay home again, which he will, I will never, ever, ever again think I'll be glad for him to go back to work. Never oh, again. Oh, I will. I'll yeah. be counting down the days. <laughs> Ted's more strict. That's less patient. Hey, Stella Bell, you guys ready for lunch? They're like, give me the food. And he did not clean out your arena. Stella, are you ready for that mini to go too? Are you ready for her to go to work? She said yes. Yeah. So our water buckets did not freeze last night. And Gracie's been eating her salt lick. Wow, did she eat that whole thing? Yeah. Ooh, Gracie. It's like apples apparently. But none of the horses like it. There's and then there's this last night. Bit of that. So if you have a bucket of water in your stall, it's on the floor so the horse can reach it, take it out while you muck. Okay, Sophie? Oh, wait, don't put it in the way of that. So this also happened at some point. I'm gonna have to clean this up. This is where I've been sitting and watching the girls in the afternoons when they ride. Apparently the horses did not like that. I think it was Willow. I think it was you. How did you like your blanket last night, Willow? I hate that she can't see. I hate it that you can't see. And she likes it when I take her hair out of her way. How did you feel in your nice warm blanket last night? Were you warm? She looks good. Stella. Stella's. Stella, how are you? Pretty beautiful lady. She's like, did you bring me treats? I will bring you treats. I promise, okay? Um, also, we bought this thing yesterday. And yeah, it's working. It's working. I just want to make sure that it doesn't make our water get shocked. Like, you know, I want my horses to be able to drink it. I'm not surprised that you're feeling this way. I've long known that you're bothered by something. I don't believe that you're right when you say that we're better off this way. As my mother did say, you can't trust a soul that's been shattered. All those moments we shared face to face, was it all just a game you played? You tell me that it's over, that we just hurt each other. But we don't have to end up this way. Hey. We're underwater, we are.
you guys know how cold it's been and we're not set up yet we're not ready for winter so we had to make the heartbreaking decision to uh, take our chickens to somebody else who's going to take better care of them than we can at this time that's the sad part of today's video we have to say goodbye not forever just for now It's sad and nobody's happy, but we are going to be able to get them back in the spring. It's just that we don't have the time. The winter just happens so fast, we don't have the time to fix everything the way we need. And so yeah, we made the heartbreaking decision. We're giving our chickens to Brandon for the winter. have never kept chickens in the winter and we're not ready yet like we saw we had a few more weeks and I know it's just an excuse but with Sam back at work it's harder for me to figure like I can't I can't winterize a chicken coop only he can and he has no time Sophia's a little sad I'm a little sad but I'm a wimp when it comes to winter like on it and it's not just that I don't want to take care of the chickens in the winter it's that like, and this is a real thing, you guys. It's that when I'm in the house and I'm thinking of the chickens outside and I'm thinking of the chickens cold, it kills me. Something you guys don't know about me is that when I was a little girl, I used to line all my dolls up around my, my bed. And then when I would go to sleep at night, I would cover them all up. And then if I woke up in the morning and any of my babies was uncovered, I would cry and cry and cry because I felt so bad that they were cold in the night. Like seriously, that, that's who I am inside. And it might be, I might like be too sensitive, but the cold, is, the cold is a really hard thing for me because I am so sensitive to the cold and the, the thought of another animal being cold kills me. Oh my God. So I made the heartbreaking decision. In the past, we've always rehomed our chickens in the winter, and this year is not sadly going to be any different. The only thing is, we're giving them to somebody that we know, and we know has a really good setup, and will take care of them. So, so that is it, you guys. Say goodbye to our beautiful, happy, healthy chickens, and don't be sad because we're gonna get them back. It's just. Say goodbye for now, not for forever. We did something really fun, something I always wanted to do. I always envisioned whenever I cleaned the barn, I would like let the little, I'd have a little pony and it would like be in the barn with me and hang out with me and just play around. I've seen other people video that. And so I opened the door and I let Gracie in the barn when we were working in there and having fun in there and it was fun. And I didn't make it into yesterday's video because it was so long. So I'm gonna put this here and let you guys watch the rest of that because I'm sad. Like, that was harder than I thought it was gonna be. I just, I feel sick. I feel stressed out. I, I sh oh, is. Even though they're just chickens, they were our chickens and we worked really hard to make them. Like, they're so healthy and big and, and fluffy and it's just sad, you guys. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you tomorrow. There, and then she walked all the way over here, and they stayed yeah. on. It's she gorgeous out. Her head to get them off yet. <laughs> like, get Reindeer away. Gracie. She's like, get away, Willow. Hey, Will. So who does Gracie love best? Don't stop. Yeah. Oh, she was about to lunge at Willow, but then. She okay, don't listen. Stop. I've had enough lunging today with Storm and Finn. Y'all, yeah. No lunging, <laughs> Reindeer. Right and then here. there's Hendrix over there scooping water. Mom, <laughs> we did. Oh yeah, we just got a tick off of him. Yeah, we just got a tick off of him. You want a kiss? Gracie. Gracie's not a kissing pig. Oh, her ears no. were cold. No, they're warm. They're warm now. So somebody said that you tell how cold your horse is by the ears. And we've been doing that all day. Warm. One thing I've always wanted to do. to be 
working in the barn and my horse walk around and be near me. She left the door open. I know, she loves it. She wants to see everything. Yeah, like, <laughs> she's like, okay. She's, she's looking for those salt licks. So this is Willow. She's like, where's the good salt lick? There's one, she says. That's your new stall, Willow. I mean, Gracie. She's like, oh man, the crappy one's in here. What do you think? <laughs> Don't trip on that. <coughs> if she rolls, I'm sorry. Aw, she wants a window. She has a window. You have a window. Maybe this will help her bonding with us because she has not really bonded very well with us yet. Look at her. Oh, she's like. <laughs> Just let her be. I want her to just be comfortable and just. Oh wait, is she having water? No, that was ice. She's like, what is this? This is the home. This is the future home of Gabby's new horse. <laughs> She's like, ew, this one's not the right one. Which one do you like? She's like, oh, I like the shaving. She's like, I think I'll. I'll She's like, I've been here before. I know how to get out. I like being free range. She's like, ooh, Stella, you won ribbon. Oh my god, Storm and Finn have more. Oh, that's a glove. And snow. And she's She's like, there's a. Can we go in there? Can we let her go in there? No, because that's where the food is. I don't want her to know where it is. Because you know how what happens when they know where the food is. Look how cute her tail is. I love her though. Do you love her? This is her I know, I'm gonna give them a little bit more more hay before we go out. She chose her stall. She's like, yeah, they all want Stella's. <laughs> Look at how cute she is. Stella wants to <laughs> Yeah. Gracie loves Gabby. Stella loves Gabby. Storm loves Gabby. And Finn. Finn and Willow only have eyes for Sophie. At least I have three and not six. Well, Stella loves me too. Stella loves us all. Yep. It's funny how personalities are like that though. People connect with certain people and that's just the way it works. I only connect with who likes me. What I like about Gracie is she's so personable. She's like that little old lady who just wants to hang out with you and sit beside you and cuddle up with you. This is very, very forward. <laughs> And she does kind of, she does kind of cut. I know, I'd love to bring her in our house, especially, especially Willow. I don't like her being cold. <laughs> yeah, she likes the sign. One of our friends made Finn that sign. All of us a sign. This is your sign. Oh, she says I'll eat it. <laughs> Yeah, put that over top of Finn, because Finn's not there right now. No. She's maybe saying, I want us time. Oh yeah, put it over top of Storm. All right, there we go. Updated. I actually really like those signs. I think she did such a good job. I love you, Gracie. All she wants to do is I know, I just love her. Like, how do I get to go outside? She loves to come outside. With I me. know. And sometimes after I brush her, I bring her back in the arena. She's like, I'm not going in that arena. And she pulls me back. She's so, so like, this is the thing I don't understand about horses. People never talk about the fact that horses are so much like people. Like, they're curious like people. They want to do stuff. They get bored like people. Like, people never talk about it. Someday when we have a big huge She's like, I'm not going in that. We're going to have Willow and Stella all over Like, ew, who lives in this stall? It would be dangerous to have them all free in here at the same time. Well, not enough room. <laughs> Just leave Gracie in here alone. She likes being in here alone. She'd rather be in here than, um, okay.
And don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.